Hello, this is Nathan from Access TV and I'm here with Matt from Criteria. Hello. Um, and Matt's just going to talk us through the first 10 minutes of the game as I play it to the best of my abilities. So Matt, you talk us through what we're seeing and what, what we're about to, ha you know, what happens when you first enter the world. So this is, this is pro actually probably the most important part of the game because what we're trying to do here is um, teach the player uh, the fundamentals of what they're going to um, be confronted with for the first um, in the first few minutes of the game. Um, so uh, the voiceover is, uh, you know, an explanation of um, uh, where we are and what to expect. So um, also getting some you know, lovely shots across the city, getting to see some of the uh, variety that uh, you're going to see over the course of the um, uh, coming hours and days, hopefully. Um, so basically we want to get you behind the wheel of the, uh, the car as quickly Welcome as we possibly can. Uh, here you're getting introduced to the, to the city, uh, that there's the ten track. most wanted cars, um, and most wanted races streets. in the game. Always so the we've spoken about the cars. solo experience being very open cars. and very free, mm -hmm. and it is. So city. pretty much all of the cars that are available to you um, are available right from the start, but there are ten most wanted races and ostensibly the goal of the game is to climb the most wanted list uh, to earn the right to take these guys on race them beat them take them down take their cars that's the that's the, the very this very simple sort of progression setup but of course you're you also want to be competing with your friends and uh, here we go seeing lots of vehicles that are available to you and uh, so the biggest thing that we're there's the biggest change that you'll see in most wanted across um, other driving games is you don't have to grind your way through gameplay to get access to the vehicles. We've taken these incredible cars and we actually we've hidden them in plain sight all the way across the city. And if you can find them, you can drive them. Uh, so here you go. You're going to start you off in the V12 Vantage, and uh, you're going to get behind the wheel inside the first 90 seconds, and off you go. Um, so uh, uh, you know, yeah, you don't need you don't need telling about pressing brake to drift. So. Um, those are things that, that uh, players of our games will be very familiar with. Um, uh, we want players to be able to get the back end of the car drifting very easily. So what happens is you come up to a corner, uh, you tap the brake button to get the back end sliding, and then you use the throttle to uh, control the slide, the throttle and steering to control the slide. It uh, keeps you speeding uh, around the corner very quickly, and a very nice um, uh, way that you can uh, feel very satisfied about throwing the car around. And uh, once you start to get to grips with uh, that basic premise then you'll, you'll be amazed at how quickly you can dart the car between traffic whilst uh, getting the back end of it out at uh, 120 miles an hour. And where am I heading to now? Uh, you're heading to uh, another jack spot. Actually we help guide you a little bit. We say oh look there's a car. <laughs> uh, so some of our favourite cars are, are Porsches. Here's uh, a 991911 and we're telling you that if you press the triangle button on PlayStation, then you can switch to a car, and it's just as easy as that. Pull up to a car, press the press the button, and you switch to a different car. Here we're showing you some uh, one of our main, well, the the main um, sort of menu system in the game, which is something that we call Easy Drive. This is all used. Uh, um, through the D-pad, so you can actually be controlling this whilst you're driving. And your instructions here are, uh, there's races attached to every vehicle, um, you choose the race that you want, in this case it's Keys to the City, it's the only race that you can do right from the very start. You use your D-pad, you set the destination, so you can see on your GPS, follow the green line to the race start. Cool. I was going to say, that looks like a familiar face. Isn't that? Like that. Yes, Professor Follett there, <laughs> uh, with his coat. Um, so here we go. So we spoke about. Um, so here's a. Uh, we've actually pushed um, all of the. Uh, there you go. The the player comparisons um, directly into the heart of the game. So you don't come out of the game to see how you've gotten off with your friends. You come up to a race start. Hold L2 and R2 down to together, and the race will start. So this is the first race. Uh, this is telling you if you finish first uh, uh, or finish second, you'll get burn nitrous. Finish first, you'll get burn nitrous and the tyres as well. So you're there racing against the V12, and uh, we're going to see how you get on. So actually, as you're racing, um, you'll see that um, you know, we're just trying to be a little bit you know, forward thinking. It, this is an open world game, so with the changes that we've made to the structure, you can see that you know, we think an open world game demands an open world structure. Um, and we also want to push as much of the information as possible into the world as well, to keep you behind the wheel of the car as much as possible. Um, 
So really, every every piece of information that you need is uh, is on the screen. You shouldn't need to uh, go any, anywhere else to get the info that you need. You see, uh, oh, you can one. yeah. So you see the billboards dotted around the city. So around the city are billboards if you collect um, EA Sports, Bioware, Dice, Visceral. Uh, the idea is to smash those things down um, by jumping your car through them. Now, when you smash them, you'll collect them, but we'll also measure how far you've jumped um, as you smash through it, and we use that as a competition between your friends. And if, you're, if you've jumped the furthest on a billboard, we actually put your face on it. So it'll either be your, your PlayStation avatar or at your, your face that you can set up on needforspeed.com, and that's, that's just an awesome way for us to if you drive around the city and you start to see uh, your, the faces of your friends. And obviously you, obviously you want to be like a horrible, attackable face that yeah. someone really wants to punch. Yeah, I think there's going to be a lot of creativity there. So, uh, way to go, you uh, finished that first race, you um, have earned two mods. So each of the cars can have mods attached to it, and here you're being um, uh, shown how Easy Drive works in terms of customization. So uh, what, the, what that mod does to the car, in this case it's um, helping your acceleration at the top speed. And you're also talk, being told here about speed points. So everything you do earns you speed points. Here's our billboards. Uh, we have speed cameras, uh, and we have security gates that you can go and explore, uh, and we have the cops. Uh, so the cops are uh, an ever-present character in uh, in Fairhaven, and uh, they're there to um, protect the innocent and uphold the law. And um, and they'll chase you, and they'll chase you wherever you can go. Um, it's an open world game. We've 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 had to do a huge amount of work on uh, on how the how the cops um, uh, can chase you and find you. Um, and you're going to have fun with that in a moment. But what you've got, what you're using now, you're actually in control now. So essentially what she's just said is, the rest is up to you. This is an awesome part because up now, um, this is where pretty much for every player, they're going to have a unique experience because you'll choose, you may choose to do a race next. Um, you can press circle and close, um, and close easy drive, just go for a drive. Um, you might choose to go straight on, for instance. Here we go. Um, Let's do a, a big jump over the, over the freeway. Uh, Autolog has actually just popped up there and, and told you that, um, that some of your friends have got um, suggestions for you. So uh, let's go and take a look at how they... Uh, oh, if you, if you press the handbrake now, which is a square button, spin your, turn yourself around 180 degrees. Um, you can see the milestones are popping up as well. Here's one of the cars. So, um, you know, in previous driving games, you just you have to earn the right to drive these cars, and and we think that we're living in the sort of right here, right now generation. Who, you know, really there is no answer. Well, the only answer to why can't I drive whatever car I like when I like is because 20 years of driving game convention says that you can't, and um, so we sort of decided to throw that one out the window. When you switch cars, we automatically open Easy Drive to the uh, available races for that car. You can choose to do a race, or you can just press circle to close Easy Drive. Um, there's a whole, you know, new, a whole new set of races. Right? A, whole, a whole new set of races for the different. Some vehicles do share races because they uh, they have similar capabilities. Um, um, so you can just go and drive. So um, yeah, just go and tear off and you know, follow some. Oh, here we go. go for, let's go for a race. Uh, but this is the point. So um, you're able. You're, this is your choice. You know, we haven't shown you what to do. We haven't told you where to go. We're not saying to you you must go off and do this. It's freedom and choice and and so that now this experience is unique to you it's so highly unlikely that I'd have chosen to got jumped into that guard and gone for that particular race at that particular moment in time you know so everyone is going to have a an experience that's unique to them but interestingly they can converse about what they've discovered oh you know I found I went back to the Porsche I stayed in the Porsche oh, really I know I found the F-150 down by uh, down by the, um, the the coal yard so uh, it's um, it's a, it's a completely unique experience. Uh, here we are, um, we're in a Lamborghini race, so you've got a Countach there, um, and you've got um, I think they're just Countaches and Gallardos on this event. So everything you're doing is earning you uh, speed points. <laughs> you're plowing through the, uh, plowing through the opposition. Um, yeah, and uh, you're also, uh, so you're earning speed points. So those speed points um, get added to your total at the top of the screen. The speed points drive your position. Um, you probably wanted to stay on the freeway, so you're going to need to drop down if you can. Could crash yeah, you could, could crash it. I mean, it's a, good, a very good demonstration of uh, the things that we also think are important. So it's in very much in our nature to take something beautiful like this Lamborghini and, um, and smash it up and make it a bit, a bit dented and dirty. Um, that's something that we love. We think these cars look amazing. And, 
um, clean, but they look great when they've taken a bit of punishment as well. <laughs> Maybe I'm not ready for the uh, Lamborghini. No, I think you know you, you stick with it. You know we. In the event, um, actually, as you were, as you were opening those events, you, we've got different ranges: easy, medium, and hard. Um, so as you start to progress through these events, um, as a new player, you'll begin to um, you'll earn the mods that will help the car um, help you get more out of the car. So you can use it to take um, take on the harder races in this in these sections. Um, I thought, back, yeah. I've probably earned that, haven't I? Yeah, so he's, uh, yeah, I, yeah, I think you earned, yeah, he, he earned the right to come back at you then. Okay. Well, we'll leave you there, Matt, but thanks very much, and I'm quite sad I have to stop, actually. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm just, just getting started, but thanks very much. Good stuff, thank you. Cool.